Hi, my name is Mike. Welcome to a quick tour of Note 2. Note 2 is a cloud-based clinical document exchange platform. Basically, it's a simple and affordable way to become interoperable and to do it literally within hours. There's a lot that makes Note 2 unique. For instance, it's cloud-based. Uh, it's very easy to use. It, it conforms to all the latest healthcare IT standards, not to mention the fact that it's super affordable. So it'll fit into just about any budget. So let's take a look at uh, receiving patient information. We'll do that first. This is my intake, which is basically an inbox where things like faxes, scans, direct messages all get routed. It feels a lot like email. You know, it's got messages. Uh, messages have attachments and you can reply to them or you can forward them. It's very straightforward. All right. I just scanned uh, a stack of documents that were sent to my fax machine this morning. I'm going to import this batch of, of documents right into No2. And I'm going to use a feature called Triage. Triage is great because it'll let me sort through a batch of incoming patient information and then store it into my EMR and, and do it all very quickly. So uh, a couple of clicks to tell No2 that I want to triage a batch, give it a name, pick the file, and off we go. So there's, there's nine pages in the file, and it, it starts with a history and physical for Janice Doe as you can see. So uh, I create a new message, and, and that uh, is basically saying that I have a, a patient that I want to assign information to. And then I create an attachment for that message, which is basically where I'll place the pages that I scan. And then I'll just work my way through it. The first three pages are for Janice Doe. Uh, and on page four, I've got another patient. His name's Michael. So I'll move the first three pages, and then I'll create a new message for Michael, again, because I have a new patient. And then I'll move his pages up. And then the last two pages that I've got are for Janice. And so those two pages will go into a second attachment uh, for Janice's message. And note, note two makes it really easy. So, so now I've got two messages, one for Janice, one for Michael, along with three attachments. I hit submit and off they go. Now, they'll go to my intake where they'll show up as incoming messages. Okay, from my intake, here's the messages that we just created, uh, along with the attachments. So if I open one of them up, all I need to do is enter the patient information and select the document type. At this point, I can forward a message, save the files, I can print them. If I've got an integrated EMR, I can mark them for download directly to the EMR, or in this case, I've got an EMR it already has direct messaging capability, but it's not directly integrated with Node 2. So I'm going to forward it to a direct address that's associated with my EMR. And since the patient information is retained inside of it, it'll store in there very simply and easily. It's actually very simple, which is the whole point behind Node 2. Now, a question you get a lot is, how do I get others to stop using fax and start receiving electronically for me if they don't have direct messaging? Well, the good news is that we thought of that early on, and we designed No2 with the ability to send an invitation. So I, I just put a name in right here, uh, along with an email address, include my direct address, and boom, they'll get an invitation to test drive No2. And with that, they can start receiving information electronically for free, and then from there, they can add on the ability to send for just a few dollars a month. And before you know it, your, your fax machine is going to have cobwebs all over it. All right, next, uh, I'll show you the new standard for requesting and receiving patient records. In my intake, I've got a referral for a new patient. And the referral letter is attached. And it explains details about the patient, but there's no specific records that are included. We definitely want to see the patient, but, but we need their records before they come in. So here's where the new standard comes in. We've worked with release of information vendors across the U.S. to create an automated way of re requesting and receiving patient records. And that's a process that's typically very manual, very time consuming, and most definitely prone to errors. But this way, with Node 2, it's simple. I initiate a new request. I add some details on what it is that I'm requesting. And I either put an address in or I'll, I'll just select one of the facilities in my area uh, that Node 2 is partnered with. This information is key because it'll come back with the records. 
which makes it simple when you get them to identify the patient and then file it back into their chart. I choose why I'm requesting the information, the time frame of the records, and the urgency. If I'm looking for unique or sensitive information and a patient consent needs to be attached, I can just add it right here. It's it. Off it goes. When the records return, they'll show up in my intake attached to a message. So if I open it, I've got two separate attachments to the message. And if they arrived as one big file instead of two, I could use triage, basically the same way that I separated that large file at the beginning of this video. But the good news is these were sent as separate attachments, so I can just process the message right here. I'll process them just like I did earlier. I can use any of the options that I covered, like downloading, printing, storing directly to an EMR. In this case, I'm going to forward them to a direct address that's associated with my EMR, just like I did earlier. A key point here is that the basic information I put in with the request, it comes back with the records. So a couple of clicks, and boom, it's in the patient chart. That is a huge time saver, not to mention the fact that it's got a, a significant impact on accuracy as well as security. Okay, last thing, I'll touch on a new two feature called release. So let's say we've just seen the patient that was referred to us above, and I wanna send a note to their primary care physician. Again, with note two, it's, it's, it's really simple and it's straightforward. So I'll just initiate a release from over here. I'll select a type, and as I do with any message, I'll select my from address, and then I'll enter the direct address of the primary care provider that it's going to. Next, add the patient details. I drag and drop my provider note here. I'll enter any document details that are needed, and I'll select send. Confirm, and it is on its way. So that's a quick look at No2. You can find an entire library of No2 videos by visiting our YouTube channel as well.